for you, what what was rock bottom? Was there a moment that that really sticks out in your mind that, you know, I, I don't know if you've ever been suicidal, yeah. um, like I have, but were, were there? What was rock bottom for you? I de- uh, I was suicidal for like quite a bit, and I de- still have like the thoughts that like occasionally come by. But I, um, I, w- I went on vacation and um, I wasn't in like a good mindset at all. This is probably like a year or two ago, mm-hmm. and uh, I like I went to a top of a building, was about to jump off, and um, I heard my friend say like I love you, Jack. Like we're here for you, and that like it was finally like what am I doing? Like why why am I doing this? Um, and I still like I still occasionally definitely get the thoughts of um, suicide, but it's uh, yeah, it's definitely a process, and I think journaling totally helps me you know yeah and thank you for for sharing that and opening that door i know it can be hard to talk about i'm someone that's that stood on the edge of bridges or, or you know written a goodbye letter and took pills and, and hope yeah. not to wake up um is it just that feeling of, of being alone and feeling like you can't fix your problems that 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 drove you to to those thoughts yeah and i think it's what you're saying about like spiraling and like i think it's so easy to go down like spiraling down like this deep dark hole Mm -hmm. and not like feeling like you can get out there's like no light at the end of the tunnel um and it's it's weird how like your your mind can just get to that point right you know and like you it feels like nothing can anyone can say or anyone can do can help that uh but uh yeah it's it's weird i think just knowing that there's someone that's like that's there to help um and be there for you um, completely makes a difference, you know, for me, my mom is why I could never do it. Like my mom yeah. being without a child or having to bury her child. Um, I know this is tough to, to answer and, and you don't have to, if you don't want to, but what, what do you think stopped you from, from, from jumping? I, um, that's interesting. Cause I, like, I just, I was just journaling about this the other day and it was definitely like, thinking about like my parents and um just like yeah kind of like how like how could I ever ever do this to them like this that's I don't know I'm not only taking my life I'm taking their lives too you know and I think that's that's such a selfish thing to do but I mean during that point it's like it's hard to think about those things Mm -hmm. and I think it's um it was, it was like that, it was like a split second where I thought about like, it's, it's like my life like flashed, but before my eyes, it was weird. Right. And then I was like, what, like, what am I doing? Like, why am I doing this? Well, it is something that's like, it's hard to describe for people that haven't gone through and had those emotions, but unfortunately a lot of people have, and it's, yeah. um, it's tough. And, and there's two things that I tell people with mental health all the time. And I'm not a you know doctor or therapist, but I, I've lived through it myself. That's one, do something, call somebody, call your mom, call your friend, call your therapist, check in if you have to, like I did. And number two, feelings are temporary. Mm -hmm. And that's something that in that moment that you just talked about or the moments that I've had where I was suicidal, you could have never told me that it would any get any better or I'd ever be happy again. And you find ways out and and you've talked about journaling a lot. Is that Mm -hmm. one of, if not your main tools to to help you get out of those low moments with your mental health? Totally. It definitely like helps, helps tremendously. Definitely. All right. Well, I'm going to give you a chance to grab that while (laughs) while, while I'm talking because we have it here. Is there something that like you stick to that maybe is something that you always read or that you always write to start your journaling is I just want to take me into into the journal uh so I always start with like just because it, it's hard to like just jump into your emotions you yeah know? um I always say like I'm sitting on the airplane right now I'm sitting um in my room listening to cigarettes after sex there's like I think it's easy to place your setting first is that a song or an artist it's a it's an artist okay after sex, yeah. all right i'd sorry i feel like you'd like them all right yeah. cool i'll yeah. dig into it then or i feel like you like beach house too okay like yeah. house. Have you heard... uh-uh. no it's okay um, am i too old for this <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right go back into journaling sorry <laughs> no you're good um so do you want me to just read it so this is uh five nine twenty two um and this is like about my ocd uh I'm sitting on the airplane right now. I'm headed back home from traveling right now. Airplanes have always been difficult for me growing up. 
which is ironic with the amount of I love traveling. It's about the obsessing and being stuck with my own thoughts for long periods of time. It's always been something I had to push through and the medication makes it a little easier. I'm scared of being in the constant state of mind where I'm obsessing about a certain thing and will never be able to get out of my head. It's hell, that's how I picture a hell. Being in a state of constant anxiety, regret, fear, shame, guilt, stress, and the list goes on of uneasy feelings. I constantly have these ticks and rituals I'm always thinking about so I have at least a little bit of control over something in my life. But then these ticks become obsessions and it's an endless loop of fear, anxiety, and shame. I want it all to end. That's one of the reasons why I always loved drinking was that it got me out of my head. It would finally give me that break of peace and away from the suffering of my obsessions. It eventually stopped working. My obsessions only got worse. I'm trying to live with them now instead of away from them because I mean forever, because I mean I'm stuck with my mind forever. Might as well learn how to deal with it and even maybe allow it to benefit me. It's made me who I am. It is who I am. That's very powerful. And that's something that, that just for you helps to write down, to get that emotion out. How does that help you get through that moment? Are you feeling that pain in that moment while you're writing? Yeah, I I think once I start writing and like I start feeling it and feeling it, and it's I think that's so it's so what's so powerful about journaling it's that you look at your thoughts in like new perspectives. Mm -hmm. I think there's such a difference between writing something down and thinking it. When you're thinking, it's like it's it can go all scrambled in your brain, but yeah. when you write it down, you're ordering it and you're kind of just like you're looking at all your thoughts in like new ways. So I think that's like just very like therapeutic. And yeah, you can kind of, um, I don't know, it's like therapy for yourself. You're kind of, um, yeah, I don't know. It's very healing. 